Man, is this a dream gig or what? Travel the world, learn about animals, teach other people about animals. You'd love to have That's it. That's a great gig, uh, yeah. <laughs> the job has belonged to the likes of Marlon Perkins and Jim Fowler. The last mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom, Wild Guide Search, led to this one, Stephanie Arney. Stephanie Arney, she's back today to talk about the new season online. <laughs> Introduce us some, to some cool creatures. Nice good to, to see, see you. Again. Good to see you. How are you doing? Too. Very good. Thank you. It's been a very exciting year mm -hmm. and a half now since I've been with Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. And yeah. we've been able to film several webisodes. And I, w I came here because I wanted to entice you guys uh -huh. to see our new web series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you, you've had one that's aired so far for this season, right? Um, yeah, yeah. We just released our leopard cubs one. So we. Yes. Who doesn't love leopard cups? Look They're the absolutely wow, beautiful. Yeah. And so you can go to wildkingdom.com mm -hmm. and you can see we have three videos. Um, what you're looking at at the top is this baby snow leopard. Wow. And the one on the top is a baby clouded leopard. And what we're trying to share is, yes, they're adorable. We all know that. But they are highly endangered species. And we want people to fall in love with them and do what they can to help protect them in the wild. Mm -hmm. And the zoo that we worked with was an accredited facility in Wichita, Tanganyika Park. Mm -hmm. And they are one of the top breeding facilities, some of the best leopard experts in trying to increase the number of this endangered species. If they stopped, mm -hmm. they could go extinct. Mm -hmm. And that's why these accredited zoos exist. We need them for that reason. What did you learn about these animals or the cubs? Oh gosh, they, okay, first of all, they have prehen or, uh, not prehensile, but um, ankles that can rotate because they're one of the only arboreal cats. They spend a lot of time up in trees. Oh, what are they mm -hmm. like on a pivot? Kind yeah, of? they can pivot. So, and I can actually show you it on an animal that we oh, brought here today on our you bring that over? Um Kip from Wildlife Encounters in Gretna um, is with us today, so you'll see him pop in and out of the shot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Animals that are arboreal, their ankles and wrists can turn, and that's what helps him climb up and down. He just grabbed a banana. Well, he's, he's trying to get one of the these animal. animals out of the cage, so he grabs a banana. <laughs> to try to entice the kinkajou. <laughs> so a similar rotation on the ankle. Yeah, joint well actually with this I'll have animal. Kip, it, Kip oh, yeah. sit down. Okay, so what I want you guys to see is look at this kinkajou's ankle. Now see how it can turn different directions? Oh yeah. Wow, and that doesn't hurt the animal at no, all. No, they have an extra flexible and rotating ankle. Now, kinkajous have that because they have a similar lifestyle as a clouded leopard. They spend all their time up in the trees trying to find um, their prey, which for a clouded leopard, oh boy. for a clouded <laughs> leopard would be, um, you know, birds and snakes and stuff like that. For the kinkajou though, obviously as you can see as they're eating, uh, she's eating a banana. They love fruits and they love insects and they love honey. Mm -hmm. And so the coolest job about the kinkajou is they're a pollinator. So similar to butterflies and bees, they go around the rainforest, they wrap their ankles around a branch and sometimes even their prehensile tail, which just acts like a fifth appendage. And they'll reach for a fruit, eat it, that's full of seeds. Mm -hmm. They'll travel 100 yards or so to a different tree, then they'll poop. And, and that seed see. comes out already fertilized and grows a whole new fruiting tree for the next Gotta generation. Love right. the yeah, they just throw their peels right on the ground. Right? Yeah, I know. She's such a diva. Watch your step. <laughs> she just, or, hey, I'm sorry, this is Sebastian. As soon as he's terrible. done, as soon as he's done, he's like, blah, more, more. <laughs> <laughs> I need uh, more, Kip. <laughs> I, what, what else do you have over there, Kip? I see right. several tubs. I don't know what you're bringing next. The well, kinkajus, where are the kinkajus that. from? They're from South America, and people think they're a primate, mm -hmm. but they're more closely related to a raccoon. Huh. So they're nocturnal, and they, they have a some of our lifestyles are working. All this, like you have North American animals oh, on, and then kids. you have the South American versions. Might as well bring and they're it. always a little bit neater. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is okay. This? this is a Russian legless lizard, and a lot of people are like, what? What do you mean? This is a snake. It's not a snake. Though. It's not a snake. And let me tell you why. If you look closely, which that's a pretty good camera angle there, um, they have an ear hole. Let me see if I can turn it. Snakes don't have ear holes. They yeah, can't hear the way that lizards do. They feel vibrations in the on the ground. Lizards can hear with those ear holes. So is that the only difference between? No, uh, there's a couple. Being, okay, what else? Um, also, they have eyelids. Snakes don't have eyelids, so they can. The lizards can blink. Mm. Uh -huh. um, also, their scales are a little bit different huh. as well. So uh, and and you can still see them um, with snakes. They'll oh, flicker okay. their tongue because. We're gonna have Kip come out right now and show you the difference. Well, this, this, is is a, this is a snake. Yeah. This. No, 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 no. Kip. <laughs> you are Kip. fine, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's Kip. just pile. Is he gonna go after and try to eat this one? Well, the lizard uh, and the snake get okay. mad. Okay. So see other? how they both stick out their tongue? That they both do that, and that's their way of smelling the air. And that cut out the circulation in my jugular. But who needs it when you're on TV? <laughs> um, 
they both have that in common, and they do move similarly. Uh, but other, you know, the main difference is that these guys have ear holes and have eyelids. They lost their leg because for a long period, a very long period of time, they stopped using them. Yeah. So, wow. so I don't evolution. <laughs> yeah. evolution. Yep, through evolution. What is that? Well, around this your is neck? A, this is, is a Colombian red tail boa, and they are a constrictor, which is why I keep had to take right. them off. He was getting a bit too strong on my neck. Um, they, being a constrictor, they're not venomous, they don't have fangs, but they do have a hundred very sharp razor, like super needle sharp teeth. Oh. So when they see their prey, they, they go at it, they wrap around it, squeeze it until it runs out of air, and then they swallow it whole. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how those guys roll. These guys, on the other hand, would um, do the similar, use their camouflage, camouflage to blend in, but would eat a lot like other lizards where they'd use their tongue to <coughs> and then yeah. bite around mm -hmm. the animal. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's yeah nice. pretty cool, huh? Right, well, thanks for bringing wow. that. What else do you, what else did you bring yeah, this we, morning? That's great. So those are two of the reptiles. Can we find something fluffy and cute? Yes, <laughs> let's bring out a, a Patagonian. I have a Patagonian KV or Amara. These, this is going to shock you guys. These are not little antelopes. It is a rodent. They happen oh, to no, be. He's, this is oh, not. Oh, he's getting the turtle first. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, Hold she's, on. Let's he's going to grab here. the KV, but this is an African Salgada tortoise. And a lot of people get these as pets because I don't know if you've ever seen them as babies, but they're ridiculously cute. And eventually what happens is they grow to be massive, and they, he, he'll get a little bit bigger than this. Wow. Um, and they live forever, But they? that's the thing. People don't realize. If you're getting a tortoise or, like, a parrot or an alligator, these animals live 80 to 100 well, years. You Are you going to put this thing yeah. in your will? <laughs> you, know? you want to get this thing when you're two it's so that you can yes. hopefully outlive it. Um, and they, they're herbivores, so they love to eat plants. But the cool thing about them is how they find them. They love bright colors. Mm -hmm. So they go after the bright flowers to eat. And wow. that's... That's how they get a lot of their water as well, because they live in the in the desert. They wow, don't get water from any look other at that way. Shell. The shell is so it's, it's pretty. It's massive, and they cannot leave their shell. Please, mm -hmm. that's cartoons telling you that. Right. <laughs> right. Can can this one stay while we bring oh, yeah. this next yeah. guy in? Yeah, they're actually friends. They live together. Oh, they're they friends. So, so this is, is the Patagonian cave. I was telling you guys, this is a South American rodent. Yes, it is a rodent, just like those, like a rat or a rabbit. They happen to be the fourth largest rodent in the world, the first being the capybara. Then you have beavers, porcupines, and then this guy right here. Wow. Mm. People think it, of rodents as just being a rabbit or a small mouse, uh -huh. but can you believe that they can get this large? He's, he's like the size of a, of a, of a I dog. Think, of a, pig, right? <laughs> a dog or a pig. And so you don't recommend these for pets, though. Oh God, I don't recommend anything and, other than uh, dogs and cats for pets. Right. I'm not going to lie. Right. Like You see us with these animals, but please know that we go to school for these or we train. We spend a lot of time learning the behavior of these animals, and quite frankly, I wish we didn't have them. These are oh. people that ha think they could have them as pets and then realize, oh crap, I can't. And that's <laughs> how they ended up at a refuge and center. And Cunningham well, exactly. actually was found at Cunningham Lake. Well, the tortoise, the tortoise was the, found at Cunningham Lake? Yep, yeah, they're native to Africa. Uh, family found him. He crawled up to their campsite, oh and they called us to and, and I think he, he, met, and a, he, still, he uh, met a mate in my leather <laughs> shoe. <laughs> he wants uh, to he's still young. Uh, he'll get to be about 100 pounds. Oh, wow. Yep. And then we've got this, how old is this other one? Uh, full Pete's grown? about seven years old. Yeah, he's about full grown. Uh -huh. And the, they look like they would be so easy to catch. You know, jaguars would be their main predator. And a jaguar would be looking for them. And as soon as they see them, if they haven't heard the jaguar first, because you can see they have huge rabbit ears, right? Mm -hmm. They can get away from their speed. They are so quick. And they've been known to jump up to six feet high. To, mm -hmm. You know, right. if you're running and you're chasing this animal and you hop out of the way, then that jaguar is going to be like, uh, where'd you go? <laughs> Stephanie, we're running out of time, but yeah. we're going back to the webisodes. Where can we find them online? Okay, as always, easy. Wildkingdom.com. And wow. you can see season one, two, three on there. And some of the classic episodes. And are some of the classic. Too. Yep. And then, of course, we have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, the whole nine yards for you guys to follow along and learn about the things that we're, we're trying to educate people, get you in touch with nature, and obviously fall in love with conservation. Well, that's Thank great you, Stephanie. You. Yeah. You're Thanks. welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Great to see, see you. Buddy. Thank yeah. you. Location, right. location, location. That's it. That's the case in real estate and in our picture of the day today. Yes, and also we've got one of the nice guys of comedy that's coming back tomorrow. We'll tell you who right after the break.